Hello Beauty and News family, welcome to another episode of the Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so if you want to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash the milk blur stick. Alright guys, so today we're doing something a little bit traditional and a little bit different. We're going to destroy and we're going to DIY. So we're taking this milk makeup blur stick. We both purchased one of these. Uh, we got Simon to pick it up for us in the States when he went overseas. Uh, we tried it. We did not like them. So it's going to yeah. go to waste if we don't do something. That's right. And we're both volunteering to destroy ours, but we only really need one. So <laughs> just, we're going to be left we're, with one. We're both actually fighting. Over. Fight. Destroy mine! <laughs> no, no, destroy mine! Uh, so we're going to destroy the milk stick. We're going to do a little Franken makeup with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the shade Moonlight. Again, a product that we both purchased and don't love and adore. Haven't really found a way to use it that works well. So we're pretty much go mix two together. So hopefully on the screen you'll see that Milk are bringing out an illuminating version of their blur stick and you know great minds must be thinking alike yeah. that's essentially what we're trying to do with this. Um, so we're just going to cut up the Milk blur stick, drop some custom cover enhancer, drop whatever those things yeah. in it and then set it in a tub and see what it's like. Now we have destroyed a milk stick before, so we know that this will just <laughs> plonk out. Um, I also want to point out that in the last one, when we mushed it back in and didn't melt it, so many people were like, why didn't you just melt it and pour it in? Uh, you can't because of the can't. base. It doesn't work. It wouldn't continue working. So hopefully you guys can see down there, there's holes. And that goes into the base of the twist mechanism. So it would all just leak into the base. And this is like, it wiggles a little bit. So it would leak out the sides. It's pouring it in there when it's liquid is not gonna work. It's gonna be messy. So it's not an option. on the ground now. There is fluff everywhere. That's gross. All right, we're going to That's much firmer than it actually that's looks. That's really it's actually really firm. Let's see if we can get some pizza. Pizza. Ooh, no. No, nope, no pizza. It's really, yeah, it's really. It's firm. It's like. It's kind of like, uh. Soft chocolate. <laughs> Let me dice that up for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun there, Hayley? Sure. <laughs> It does. It looks like, um, what's that caramel white chocolate stuff? Caramel. Yeah, caramel. Do you know that's out in, the, in New Zealand? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Going to New Zealand. Yep. The Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and Cover Drops. The problem with them is, oh, here we go. They, um, there's an ingredient in them that evaporates really quickly and kind of makes them harder to use as they get older. We haven't even had these that long. No, and it also makes it dry really quickly when you're applying it, so it's yeah. hard to apply. Like tomato sauce. Bang it <laughs> from the bottom. <laughs> So you can see how these drops get, like I haven't even had this that long, I've used it, like opened it and used it less than a dozen times, yeah. maybe half a dozen realistically. I've probably only used mine like three times. And like that's how they get. So this is why like 
it's a nice product. Their custom cover drops are so good, um, but you have to use them regularly. All right, we're gonna take our magnificent mess. We're gonna go pop it in a little water bath and see what we can create. All right, we just took some from the edge of the uh, beaker and it's we put a lot of stuff in there but Not it's a really glow. subtle glow almost to the point where you go what's the point yeah like that's doesn't stay no like that when you blend it out it doesn't stay it's interesting um yeah it it's gives like, a slight sheen but it's, like it's the more the color it's like the blur stick has just muted everything yeah interesting it looks a little bit more orange from the color of the cusp of the enhancer drops but that's about it and this is oh, i mean <laughs> it's a that's, mess. that's a bit yeah that's why i don't really like that stuff so i mean the blur stick once it you know, smooths out on the skin, you can't really see it. The custom cover drops, the, on their own, they're pretty, like... Blinding. They are. Um, when they're mixed together, I mean... It just looks ashy. It does look ashy. Uh, you really lose the vibrance of the um, cover effects drops. It's just, it's like the blur stick blurs <laughs> Yeah. So maybe the blow stick works too well. It's also weird because we put like pretty much a full bottle in. Yeah. And so I'm really disappointed by the fact that it's not very. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not what I expected. No. I'm sad. I'm sad too. <sighs> anyway, we tried to uh, improve two products, and we failed. Potatoed both of them. We did. We did. Shame. <laughs> oh. Well. Oh well. There we go. Beauty news fail. Yeah, but if you wanted to buy the upcoming Milk Blur, blur stick, stick Illuminating, that's pretty much what it's going to look like, I <laughs> well, reckon. Well, hopefully it's better than that. I'm going to I'm gonna be remain hopeful. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Makeup Breakup. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.